Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for hopping on the call. Um, can you just tell me a little bit about yourself, like how old you are, what you're doing, and, and how you got started? Okay. Um, my name is Eniola Osabi, of course. <laughs> I, I am 17. I'm a full stack web developer and a cloud engineer. And with five years of building experience, I started coding and stuff when I was 12. So yeah, that's, that's, that's a basic short description about me. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you know, when you hear the, the age 17 and full stack, full stack developer, how, how does, how does that happen? <laughs> yeah, I do, right? Uh, you know, I, I started, I started my path from um, basic front end, then I dabbled into like back end and um, I did a bit of cloud engineering stuff, so like deploying applications to like AWS and stuff. But yeah, I basically like built my background now in majorly in back end. But at the same time, I still like work with front-end technologies. So, yeah. Right. But, but you like back-end more, right? Sorry? You like uh, back-end more? Yeah, I like back-end more. I'm more like, I like a logic. Languages. <laughs> okay, um, PHP, Node, GS, and yeah, those are my two majors, but like I've taken like crash courses on like Python, um, Java, but like I haven't like built stuff with it, so I won't really call it something I'm good at until I build projects on them. Right. Wow. That's impressive. <laughs> and yes. you got started when you were 12, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. With your, with your church. How was, yes. what was that like? Okay. So um, it was actually like very, very cool. Um, you know, we started as a three day boot camp um, training just to like get started with HTML and CSS and stuff. And we built a project, which was like a library management system. That was like one of my first projects ever. And Everything really turned out well for the three days. Then we decided to become a group. And we, we, after we, we were a group, we're like building projects consistently for like the like social good, like for the church. We build an attendance management system. We build a, um, a CBT, like a kind of questioning quiz um, system and so many other things like that. So um, at the same time, while we're a group and we're building projects, uh, we're also teaching like new members in the church so like we did this consistently for like three years we had the first second and like third code but like due to the covid we really had to like stop so that was what really destabilized us and yeah that's that was that about you know church it was really fun wow that, that's awesome um <laughs> so do you find that once you started really getting into it um did you um did it really take up much of your free time to learn yes. this? I, 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 did, I don't think I had a free time because <laughs> every of my free time was like, I was already on my system, you know, spent a lot of late nights because I was in school. I just actually finished um, school, high school. So mm -hmm. I, most of my free time, even at school, at home, it was just me coding. My friends then will always tell me that, yo, you're going to marry your laptop and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> So. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> awesome. And then, then you recently um, got a job uh, or more than one. So um, you know, I had my coders rank profile like way back, like maybe like two years ago. I just updated it and like filled in all my profiles and built it, and I was like excited because I was able to like see myself placed like in the rank of developers across all, all over the world and even my country. So it was just like. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm not bad after all. <laughs> so um, the whole job thing came in like a couple of months back, like six months less, and I got a reach out from um, Saba, a recruiter, and Kando. Um, so he actually had a blockchain project to offer, but like I wasn't actually fit for it, so I kind of like declined the job. Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, okay, very good. Um, thanks for like giving your honest answer and stuff. And I was like, all right, sure. I mean, if I was paying because I mean, I just lost the job like that. But at the same time, it's something I think I've like, I'm not a blockchain expert in like building stuff like that. So, you know, I just had to let it go. So fast forward, like a week or, you know, days later, I, I connected with him on LinkedIn. Then 
you know, when I got this, I connected with, you know, when he accepted my connect, then, you know, he sent the project and it was like, you know, would you like to work on this? And I was like, okay, awesome. Like, very interesting. Like, I didn't even know he was still having like another project in mind, but, you know, then we started charting, um, you know, we're very, things started just picking up pace like that. And, you know, we're like, I don't want to communicate Slack, WhatsApp. And I was like, okay, cause I have like other workspaces I am on. And I was like, okay, let's choose Slack. Like, you know, I'm very familiar with Slack and it's like always open on my laptop. So started Slack, um, we jumped in there, started negotiation and yeah, that was, that was just a, <laughs> like very, very fast and, you know, very easy. Yeah. And that's, amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. You're like top 1% now of coders, <laughs> aren't you? Yeah, I would. That's good as rank. Yeah, that, that's, oh, wow, congrats. <laughs> Thanks. That's amazing. Yeah, so now you have that and you have some other side projects as well? Yeah, I pick up like once in a while, people reach out for like gigs and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, I do that once in a while. Yeah, yeah, and like most developers, you also have side side projects that you're building for yourself as well? Uh, okay, yeah, um, I'm actually building something like personally, um, which is like Freela Pay. Um, mm -hmm. I have a person I'm building it with. Um, yeah, so Freela Pay is one of the exciting projects I think I'm working on like as a side. Right, that sounds, that sounds really nice. Yeah, yeah awesome, you're, you have your plate full there for sure and now you have um a community that you started oh yes yes yeah. gen z tech is that. okay so um gen z tech is you know over the years while i've been like in the tech space and stuff i mean there isn't like a very very supportive um community i've seen for like teenagers like my age group to be able to like really network and you know if one collaborates to build stuff together or even just get inspired by each other. I mean, you would definitely see a couple of people, but maybe they're just on like Twitter and stuff like that, or like LinkedIn. And then you're not able to like really communicate with this type of people. So I was just like, you know, I was already like, I, I did some internship programs and stuff. So I was able to like connect with like a couple of, you know, very good devs. So I was just like, okay, you know what? I was just going to start this like as, as a WhatsApp group. And then I just added everybody in the group, like my close friends that, I, I saw that okay these guys like were good in the tech space and stuff so yeah we started that and you know for six months ran down the line we didn't actually do much it was just like a chilled um environment where we we're just going to like chat maybe rant about like tech topics or like talk about new stuff like new technologies like maybe blockchain and stuff like that and you know talking about like possibilities worst case scenarios and stuff like that so um you know we started adding a couple of new people because some people in the group would be like um i think i know somebody i'd like to add in and of course when i meet new people too like very inspiring and young and between the age group like 20 below i also add them to the group so we started growing and we're like 25 um then we're like you know what i mean this is like things are really like exciting yeah why don't we make this like a community kind of thing and stuff so that was really just the kickstart and this all started like less than two months ago and yeah we just we decided to do that we did our websites you know and we've just been going from there we created our social media accounts and we've had a lot of engagement our linkedin post impressions alone were like 22k when i checked last and this was just like within two months <laughs> So it's really been um, amazing. And then, yeah, we really plan on, you know, getting other team techies in the in Nigeria to be come on board and have a very close relationship with every other person. Right, that, that's so nice, that's that's amazing. So it's mostly for, uh, for other developers or just techies in general? So techies in general, in software and client, I mean, at the same yeah. time, we're looking at also bringing people like maybe in the hardware space like robotics and maybe VR and stuff like that. But right now it's more like software type of guys, like designers, product managers, um, uh, you know, technical people, front end guys, back end guys, user experience des um, designers. Those are majorly people we have on the group on the team right now. Then we also have like DevOps engineers and really like an engineering team. We have them right now in the group. 
individual. Right. Now, that, that's an awesome initiative to really, you're giving back to the community this way and keeping the community together. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's really, really nice. Like, what's your vision? Where will this grow? This, okay. Uh, okay. For the grow, um, I mean, one of our vision is that we want to be able to have a community and post that uh, every techie you see maybe creating any very awesome project out there and is young within our age group should be from like gentle techies like yeah that's 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 like the long-term goal and um, we want to like really foster the adoption of like teen techies in like in actually like you know they should be accepted in the tech space because there's like a common problem teen techies also face here in my demographic like nigeria uh, which is more like you know they are not easily like allowed to probably like take up job maybe because they look at them as like they are young and i mean these are guys that like have very good experience some people work with like you know the docker linux subsystems really really good and like, very very impressive and they don't just they don't just see all of this they just be like okay you're young you know they just look down on them and stuff like that. and that, that's just very sad so we really want to be able to change that mindset and you know, we do this by always like trying to hype whatever the community members are doing and making people to know that, okay, teens are actually here in Nigeria and then they can build like this very, very amazing stuff. And like age is not a factor to be able to like, um, to be able to like undermine them and stuff like that. So that is really what we, what we plan on trying to do and trying to change. Wow, that, that's awesome. That's so nice to hear, really. Um, <laughs> You're obviously a very ambitious young man, so uh, <laughs> who knows where you will end up. I'm really, really curious to see. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's absolutely you're on the right path. Um, and speaking of uh, path, where do you see yourself down the road in the future? Do you think you will want to have your own company someday? Or do you prefer being part of like a big um uh, no. Organization. No. Okay. Um, one of my favorite places or like a fantasy I've always had is you know I want to be at I want to be a software engineer at Google. <laughs> but oh, I yes. think uh -huh. yeah, I, I really want to get into Google at least. I just want to get into Google. Uh but lately I don't know whether my oh uh, my my perspective has been changing a bit, but I think I still want to get into Google because you know yeah. building startups and having your own thing is like you know very also interesting to go through the whole phase of like the entrepreneurship thing and all. And I'm, I love like entrepreneurship. So okay. yeah, but like I still really want to. I mean, at some point, I'm still wanting to get into Google. Like I just like the Google's ecosystem and you really have to do their thing. So I would like to be part of that at some point. That that's awesome, and you will. <laughs> I, you. I have a good feeling. <laughs> that's awesome all right well thank you so much i don't want to take too, too much too much of your time uh thank you for hopping on this call and sharing your your uh, story uh this is awesome and uh thanks again yeah and thank you too for having me on board <laughs> thank you